Good afternoon, Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to go ahead and get that done and over with so you don't forget later. Quick little video, I want to show you something I'm experimenting with. Let me turn the camera around. Got our Smittybilt rooftop tent set up because I'm going to do some experimenting with the ice box uh, cooler. The Smittybilt tent comes with this cable here and it plugs into a cigarette lighter and it'll go up to your tent and you'll have the female cigarette lighter up there. And the reason I need that is because I rigged up a, a small ice cooler fan system. I saw these online and I thought, well, I've got all the junk laying around that I could experiment and see what I can throw together so I don't have no money in this other you know it's just stuff that's been laying around in my junk shed uh, so I wired it up to a cigarette lighter I mean a cigarette plug and then I've got these came out of an old computer tire that no longer worked other than the, the fan still worked so I just cut a hole in the lid of this cooler and screwed them down to that you just have to be careful not to put your fingers in there I could get a cover to put over this but I'm not going to do that right now and I had this old key switch in the shed that I found that I used to power I can power it and have one on or I can depending on where, what position the key is in I can run one or I can run two and then this is the old peanut container that I cut a hole in, cut a hole in the lid of the cooler and screwed it in, and this is where the, the air is going to come out. On the inside, so there's ice in here, it's been in here. Now, when I go camping, I will freeze half gallon milk jugs of water and place in there one, probably one at a time, because since I have the ice co cooler or freezer, I can put several in there three or four and keep them froze until I need them and I pull one out at a time put them in put one in here for nighttime sleeping and then uh, when it thaws out put it back in there and the next night I can go to another one and by the time I use that one I'm hoping that that other one be froze if not I'll have you know two two more to choose from but what I got here let's see it says it's it's just laying in the shade on my tailgate, 86.5 degrees. Now it says 88.2, 87. It should go down a little bit, just there should be some coolness coming out of that hole. Okay, now we've done went down to 83, just sitting there pretty much, 82. And I said start out at 88. And if I twist this key, one way it turns on one fan that feels good coming out of there now if you think you're in a confined spot in that tent up there that's going to uh feel pretty good and the temperature's starting to drop remember we was at 88 so i'm just going to let this run for a little bit on the single fan and we'll see how cool this thermometer gets seventy four seventy three I'm gonna pause the camera for a little bit now I'm standing in front of this thing you can kind of see I'm within a couple feet of it and it feels pretty good blowing on me any little bit's gonna help I can feel it about three four foot away let me flip this camera around again looks like the thermometers went down as far as it's going to 
So let's flip this switch around. There's off. And then if we go to the other side, both those fans are going to run. Now see, we can just set this in the corner of the tent up there. Blowing on us. And it should help keep us a little bit cooler. Because you figure at night time we get down to say 75. And so 73 is coming up a little bit now because the air is blowing faster across the ice so it don't have as much time to cool down. But it, you have a lot stronger current of air blowing on it. It feels pretty good. It looks like it's going to hold around 74 degrees. See, it goes up, down, 74, 73, 9, 74, 2, and goes back down. And, I mean, I'm standing in the sun, so it's, it's hot out here. So, you know, you're looking at 14. I'm going to say you're looking at a 10 to 14 degree difference from outside. So 14 degrees cooler than outside temperature. So if it's 75, and you should be at least get able to have 65 degree air coming out at you. So it should help. And I said I'll do, instead of ice, I'll be using frozen bottles. It's quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise. And when it's blowing on you, and I can move this around whichever way I want it to blow. I can tilt it a little bit if I want to. Right now it's kind of blowing up. I had the lid open so it went up a little bit. But like I said, this is just an experiment. I've seen some of these built online with like a regular fan on them for $55 plus shipping. But I figured uh, I'd just throw this together. And uh, as you see, I'm running those computer fans off 12 volts, no problem. And I really think at night, you just put that on one fan. There it goes. Any kind of extra cool you get when you're camping is nice to have. It may not be like having air conditioner blowing on you, but it's cooler air than outside air. So every little bit's going to help.